If you've never used Storyline's button set feature, you've been missing out on a really great way to extend the functionality of radio buttons to other types of objects like images, screenshots, text boxes, characters, and just about anything else. To see how useful this can be, let's take a look at this sample slide. We've got a sort of click and reveal interaction set up here, but since there isn't any limitation to the number of selections that can be made at the same time, everything just sort of piles up and doesn't really work the way we want it to. Instead of manually creating a bunch of triggers to handle all the logic that's involved to enforce a single selection, this is a perfect scenario for using a button set. So anytime you've got multiple objects on a slide like this and you want learners to be able to select just one of them at a time, you can turn them into a button set. And all you need to do to do that is select the objects on the slide you want to include in your button set. Right click your selection and go down to button set and you can put them in the default button set or you can go to new set and then name that anything you like. I'm just going to drop it into the default button set and since these are now part of a button set they're going to behave just like radio buttons. So if you select one of these objects and then select another one, the first one's going to automatically become unselected. And you can see that functions just like radio buttons. As I mentioned before, you can create button sets with virtually any kind of object. Here are some characters that we can make into a button set. Again, just select my objects, right click, go to button set. I'm going to just put them in the default again there. And if we preview this, again we can see that only one of those can be selected at a time. And you notice another really cool thing here is that if you don't already have a selected state created for your objects, Storyline will even go ahead and create one of those for you when you make your button set. Of course that's fully customizable and you can change that if you want. Here is a modified version of that same button set. I just turned off the default states and customized that to suit my needs. And that's how easy it is to use button sets to make any kind of objects behave like radio buttons.